Welcome to the channel that celebrates Disney memories through food. That's right. Celebration! Today is a very special video. This was a request. Yes, it was a, a request from one of our viewers for French toast pretzels from Hollywood Studios. And uh, I gotta say, I think we hit it out of the park. It's hard to say because we've never actually tried them before. We've never had them. And when you look them up, when people talk about them, they don't really go too far in describe, describing them. They just say things like sticky and French toasty, which yeah. are not great adjectives when you're trying to like recreate a dish. So. Yeah, we did our best to recreate what we think this tastes like based on what it looks like. Yeah. Either way, we made something that we feel really good about. Yeah, so. yeah, we made um, a pretzel with, uh, it tasted like French toast, and the filling is actually... Apple butter. Which, at the time of recording this video, it's not fall, at least not in the Northern Hemisphere, so it was really strange to like have this wonderful apple cinnamon -y aroma in our kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like people say, <laughs> avoid fall flavors in the summertime. Yeah. I say lean into it. Lean just into just it. lean into it. Get your allspice and your cinnamon <laughs> and just, just let it happen, man. All right, so uh, it all started with the apple butter. That was the first thing we, we had to make. So do you want to tell them a little bit about the apple butter? Yes, so the first thing you'll need for apple butter is apples. Surprise. <laughs> we seasoned it with some cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, clove, brown sugar, and maple syrup. Apple cider vinegar also. Apple cider vinegar too. And a dash of vanilla extract. And I think we used Fuji, Honeycrisp, and Golden Delicious apples? Yeah, it's a good idea to vary up your apples in your apple butter for a varied apple butter taste. Yeah. We cooked down our apple butter. We hit it with an immersion blender. Then we allowed it to cook down even more because the idea behind it is you really want as little water as possible, especially if you're gonna use that to stuff into another thing. Why is that? Why do you? Why? Why? Because why? Because this it'll create a lot of steam and that steam will eventually kind of evaporate and then you get these kind of empty caverns of goop. That's why. The thing about the stuffed pretzel is that you have to be able to roll the pretzel dough over your filling. We had some gelatin left over from our zebra dome recipe, so we used that to firm up our apple butter and make it have some structure that we could then fold the dough over. Uh, that wasn't the only thing we decided to stuff these pretzels with, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> because we talked about the apple butter, the 24 hours, the gelatin, uh, the, the intense drama and the euphoric high that only comes with a day of making apple butter. <laughs> um, but we got to get into the the pretzel itself yes. because that is the paper of this recipe. You write your French toast pretzel on it. Oh, beautiful. That was a beautiful metaphor. Do I treat? This is actually not our first time making soft pretzels. We've made the soft pretzel and beer cheese from Germany. Yeah, we didn't show them the beer cheese because you got to keep them coming back for something, but we yeah. did do those pretzels, so make sure you uh, check that video out. So the first thing you want to do when making soft pretzels is you want to make a poolish. Some yeast and some water and some of your flour and some sugar. And you let that do its thing for a few minutes until it gets bubbly. Yeah, it looks bubbly and not super appetizing, but yeah. it's doing good stuff. And then you'll put the rest of your flour in along with some melted butter, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Yeah. And you mix all your ingredients together. Roll it up into a dough ball and then let it rise. We let ours kind of cold proof in the fridge overnight, uh, which is fine. You can do that to kind of slow down your uh, your dough from rising too quickly. But you can also just keep it in a warm place uh, for about an hour and it should rise. Double in size and you're good to go. And then you get to roll it out. You get to roll it out. <laughs> you want to place it on a floured work surface and you roll them out into snakes. And then you flatten your snakes. Flatten your snakes. <laughs> Which another word I guess would be ropes. <laughs> ropes, ropes are good. Any snakes who are watching are like, what do we have to do with this? <laughs> and then we placed our 
jello apple butter mixture into a piping bag and we piped it onto the snakes ropes snake ropes yeah. ropes we did which is uh way challenging I and mean, you have to go through this process of folding it it is a much more difficult task you did much better at this than me so yes once you get your filling in there you and i did do better than him and you, you want to take the edges of your pretzel and kind of pull up on them a little bit tug on that a little bit and then close them like a seam and what i did was with one hand i closed my seam and the other i just followed behind pinching that seam to make sure that nothing leaked out and then once i did that along the length of the rope i then folded the seam over and then very gently rolled the dough over that seam to really close it up um, because you don't want any of that mixture leaking out once you run out of your apple butter then things really get exciting oh yeah we went a little crazy we decided we were trying to think of like all the different possible things that you could fill these pretzels with because like what if we guessed apple butter and guessed wrong right so we wanted to do a couple of different things and then have a little bit of fun so uh, we took some of those caramels that you buy in the baker section of your grocery store flattened those out and we decided to fill a pretzel with those spoiler alert it's delicious it's amazing uh and then we got a little bit crazy where we had some chopped up reese's peanut butter cups and some dark chocolate chips and we filled a pretzel with those uh and we decided to bake that one off too so we wanted to just kind of do this almost in three different ways to see how much fun we could have and how silly we could make this thing so once you have your pretzels shaped You want to put them in a baking soda solution. I've seen different things about this. Some say it has to be boiling. We said that in our first pretzel video. Some say it has to be simmering. And then others say it's just a bowl of warm water that you can use. Others use lye. I ain't about to get that dangerous. I've seen Fight Club. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just a simple dude trying to make some pretzels. <laughs> uh, so what we did here was we put them in simmering water for about 40 seconds. Now, we didn't flip them either. In our first video, we said flip them after 20 seconds. What fools we were. Yeah, what fools we were, because another YouTube channel that we saw was like, just pour some of the solution on with a ladle. And I was like, well, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. So you want to soak the the pretzels for about 40 seconds, put them on a parchment-lined baking sheet, and then before they go in the oven, you want to make sure you brush them with some melted butter. I can speak. And then put it in the oven for 12 to 14 minutes. You can cook them a little bit longer, too, if you want kind of a darker color. Just be careful that you don't overcook them. When you're ready to take them out of the oven, make sure you have more melted butter. Brush them with melted butter again. Then you want to sprinkle with a sugar cinnamon topping, because everything we read said that these had a very sugary, sticky coating, which we can only assume comes from sugar. Right. It's Disney, so... We're like 50% of the way to figuring that mystery out. Exactly. Not only do you coat them with regular table sugar, but then once they've cooled down a little bit, you want to sprinkle some powdered sugar on them as well. So these came out pretty good. I think the uh, apple butter French toast pretzel, I think that was the one that was the most, I think, similar to what we were going for or what we were looking for. Yeah, absolutely. It tasted very French toasty. Um, The apple butter itself didn't taste too apple-y. It tasted like something you'd have, you know, on your French toast. Oh, yeah. Plus, you want to enjoy a little bit of maple syrup on the side to make it all breakfasty. Yeah, it was great. And I think that is the one that will probably closest match. Uh, But my favorite one was the caramel pretzel. Yeah, that was the winner. Sorry, viewer, but that was the way to go. It was amazing. Yeah. I loved it, and I would eat them every day. We are super excited to make these French toast stuffed pretzels. Thank you so much to the viewer who suggested it. We love recreating things that remind us of the happiest place in the world. And uh, we're glad we got to share that with you. So if you have any more suggestions for recipes, please send them our way. We'd love to give them a try. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Got a lot of great stuff coming your way. Thank you, everybody. Bye.